I wear this kimono every single day. Do I actually need Western clothing? Do I? Do I? I don't think so. This year is gonna be the year where I'm gonna bite the bullet and do what I had planned for a very long time. And that is getting rid of all my Western clothes and keeping actually more clothes than I saw, thought. Let's go through them once more and get rid of some more clothes. In case you're here for the first time, my name is Bini Matsunaga and I'm a fully trained and certified kimono teacher and stylist, which means I work with kimono. And that means I wear this kimono every single day. Not every single day, we all have to be honest, but almost every day. And let's say, 89% of my life, you will see me walking around like this or in a more relaxed version of this. This year is gonna be the year where I'm gonna bite the bullet and do what I had planned for a very long time. And that is getting rid of all my Western clothes. Will I get rid of all, all my Western clothes? Probably not. You know, there are many different kimono in kimono. And also they all have the same shape. They have something that's called formalities and some of them are very, very formal and some of them are super duper casual down to PJs. So you have everything in the range of kimono. So do I actually need Western clothing? Do I? Do I? I don't think so. <laughs> let's get all my clothes out and let's see how much I actually will get rid of. So let's get my clothes. Let's get all of my clothes. <laughs> let's just, just, just take it all. Let's empty the drawers. This was the top drawer, but like the bottom drawer it was almost empty. I'm already shocked by myself. <sighs> Coats. Okay, now we'll have to get the stuff that I actually already put into the laundry and a few things. I'm just gonna show that I already have pre-sorted out because I'm not gonna wear them anymore. Look at this pile! So, these are all my clothes that I own at this very moment. Mine is underwear and PJs and I call it activity wear. So for swimming and snowboarding, because that is stuff I definitely won't get rid of because I don't have a lot of that anyway. And I need it. Um, I think I accidentally also brought my dune with me. I'm probably gonna show you, <laughs> but I'm definitely not gonna um, get rid of them. This is a pile that I have already pre-sorted out. It's some fancy dresses. So this is already my no pile here. This video is not gonna have a maybe pile. Maybe means no. And because I live in a climate with really, really hot and long summers and very short but super cold winters, I will need a proper winter wardrobe and I also will need a proper summer wardrobe. I was thinking about probably giving me a maximum number of items that I'm gonna keep. But I think this would just make this too stressful because um, I'm a person that really love my clothes and a lot of them have a lot of good memories attached to them. So getting rid of that is a tiny bit stressful. So I'm just trying to reduce the stress by not giving me a max number. And then we'll just see how many I will keep. Another thing that I thought is probably interesting is put together some of my old outfits I wore so often. So you will get a tiny history of Billy styles in the past. <laughs> So what I need is to get changed out of my kimono. So much better. And yes, I have actually put out stuff from here that I'm wearing right now. Things I already know that I'm not gonna get rid of, which is this shirt because I just have received this from my husband. He, it's one of his shirts, he never wears it. I love it. It's also Paul Smith, I think. So it's a brand and I'm kind of like, I like this one and I like this kind of little boyish style with normal jeans and that's totally me. So that's definitely something I'm gonna keep. So let's start with things I'm gonna keep. 
which is for sure here on top because it was also in the laundry pile. A new skirt I have just purchased. It's a completely orange skirt and I really love it. Um, so I'm definitely gonna keep this one because it's probably one of the only clothing I have purchased last year new. And I really love combining this. This is what I wore actually for, uh, how do you call it? New Year's Eve because I went to the cinema. Not wearing kimono to the cinema. <laughs> Also, the question here is actually, how often do I actually wear kimono? Because I said 89%. And I thought about the answer a few times. And the best answer is actually when you ask me, when do I not wear kimono? And there are a few things where I don't wear kimono. There are really a few things where I say, nope, not in kimono. One of those is, for example, cooking. I try to not cook in kimono because I am a very clumsy person and I spill and spit a lot of stuff and oh I cut myself a lot and burning myself is also a thing so rather not when cooking I try to sometimes I do sometimes not it depends on my mood what I definitely don't do in kimono is going to the hairdresser because I usually get my hair dyed which is also weird because I do go to the dentist in kimono seriously <laughs> so I don't know why I should try I should give the hairdresser a try with kimono I think it should be possible what I also don't do is going to the cinema in a kimono because those seats are not comfortable in kimono I have tried it my legs died my um, butt died and it was just it was just a pain so never ever again and I almost never go drinking in kimono especially when it's something where no one else gonna wear kimono except me then i'm not gonna go in kimono because i had some spilling red wine spilling incidents i was luckily not wearing kimono then and it just frustrates me and most of my most of my kimono are vintage or like um just this one kimono on this earth so when those kimono get destroyed i will i will be so 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 sad not wearing kimono to the cinema and because in winter when it's cold you need something like a knit over it this is my favorite black knit i actually have to mend it because it's missing a button and i never really do it it's probably something i should do after i finish this video am i actually missing two buttons this is my montreal um sweater i'm not gonna get rid of this either um i'm not from montreal but when i went there bought this and really loved this one another thing that right on top that i'm not gonna get rid of is this coat that is still produced in west germany where is the tag there's a tag in it that says produced made in west germany where is it how, so this is how old this jacket is. I can find I can find the tag. And this one actually belonged to my um, late grandmother, and she passed it down to her daughter, who is my mom. And now I have it here in Japan. And I really love this jacket, and I'm gonna take good care of it, grandmother. I'm not gonna get rid of this, never ever. This one I'm gonna keep. Um, let's start with formal wear. Formal wear in meaning of this is what I usually wore when I went translating. So I already decided during New Year's that I'm gonna keep this jacket. I would call this actually a blazer, but then I was um, reminded in the comments that this is not a blazer. So I don't know what it is. So I'm just gonna keep this jacket. I'm also going to keep this blazer. I actually hate this blazer because I sweat so bad in it. I think it still smells. Yeah, when I wear this once it just smells. So I always have to pet this with those um, sweat absorbent um, pads. I always have a few of them in my house for actually this jacket. And I very often wear it with this skirt. Um, for again translating I also sometimes pair this with these trousers so this is just really chic and nice so I'm also gonna keep this skirt another skirt that I actually had bought for translating and looking a tiny bit more chic is this white one here but you know 
you can see the pants through it. So this is definitely something I'm gonna get rid of. Um, another thing I'm gonna keep is my winter jacket. This is actually my activity wear, so I don't even know what this is here. I wanna think about this. Um, probably gonna keeping this jacket too. This is just a jacket I love. You can see jackets are something I'm just really bad at giving up. My husband presented me this one for our first white day. It's way too much to receive on white day. In case you don't know, white day is the 14th of March. As a woman, you usually on Valentine's Day, you give the men around you or male friends or your husband or your boyfriend or someone you really love, you give them chocolate. There are different types of chocolate. <laughs> There are different levels of chocolate you give someone and then you receive something back on white day so you will have you will receive from everyone back you have given something so there are also different levels of presents on white day and for our very first white day my husband presented me this i actually would love to recreate it with a nicer fabric and probably better lining so i don't sweat too much there are still the pads inside <laughs> this is the same brand it was basically also the same um collection i think this knit actually has a nice memory um it's from h&m i bought the same color as my mom has and she was really happy about that somehow she really was happy that i didn't mind that we would have the same sweater this one is just too itchy i just even when i wear something over it's still itchy so no oh this one has like great sleeves they're so poofy on at the bottom and I really, really, really love this. And it's white, I love white. I think white makes you look really bright. That's also why I often have white Han Eddy because you can have then something really bright that lightens up your face, that's really good. So I love this effect with this one. I'm gonna keep this one here. Um, it's a cotton knit and I'm just wearing this way too often. Although I don't like the color, I don't like the fit, I don't like anything about this. I just like that it's a cotton knit. So I want to make my own cotton knit. Until I have one that I made myself, I'm gonna keep this one. I have, where is the other one? I have these two knits that I bought in my first year when I moved here because I didn't bring enough winter clothes. And I really, really loved pairing these with a normal shirt. Where's my favorite shirt? Like with a shirt, like this, under it. And then with this super, super short black skirt under it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this was so my favorite style, like in my first year of Komodo. And like in the office, I got so many comments on it because this skirt is so short. And I have another short skirt I love to wear under it. This one. But you know what, for example, this here, it actually has like tiny panties inside. And this one is something, I wore some hot pants or something under it. So now you won't be able to see my um, underwear. Even when I bow down, you're not gonna see anything. And I got so many comments about it, like could that skirt be any shorter? A tiny little more and then we can actually see your pants. And no, you won't because I'm usually layering up. I kind of stopped wearing it because of that, but it was definitely one of my favorite styles. And I'm keeping the skirts for sure because I really love them. You know what? Now that I'm wearing this, I just don't feel it anymore. I'm gonna say goodbye to both of them. And we'll have to wash this because I just wore this the other day but it's gonna say no, and this is gonna be a no too. Um, gonna keep this. This is also what I'm gonna keep because this is just a normal t-shirt. You also have noticed that I often pair like shirts and wear something over it in winter. And this is also perfect, it's 100% cotton for um, the changing seasons like spring and autumn. You can just wear them as they are, Just it's just cool. Gonna keep my tiny chopper t-shirt. This was once a uh, umiyage, a souvenir from Japan. They have asked me, what is your favorite character? And One Piece is my very favorite anime. So I'm gonna keep this. This is my Sailor Moon shirt. <laughs> now all the other anime things have come out. This is my other blue shirt that I keep changing with this one. You can just use the same whole outfit with another shirt and I just love this. This is my Hakuba shirt. 
when we went snowboarding in Nagano Prefecture. I'm by way a absolute bloody beginner. I can't snowboard at all, but I'm trying and it's so much fun. Then I have a Minnie Mouse t-shirt. Definitely gonna keep this one too. These are t-shirts. This is like my all season stuff. I almost wear this throughout the year because it's cold in houses in summer because the cooler is oh, way too, way, way too cool. The coolers are way too cool. They're way too cold. Hmm. This is one of those, it's hard to wear something over it clothes. And I think you will have to go. You are gonna go. This is one I definitely gonna keep. You probably saw this already a few times in my videos. This is a sustainable brand in Japan. They're called Loop Wheeler. They have not a single piece of plastic in that store. This is all worth the money and I'm planning to wear this for a very long time. Definitely gonna keep this one. And this is one of my interchangeable. Um, sorry, we're getting new neighbors, so it's really loud outside. Oh yeah, finally. So this is one I used for interchangeable. I love this one, so I'm gonna keep this one too. Uh, you probably know this one also from videos because I actually wear this a lot. I'm actually about to let this go. So this is also my stash that I always wear, so why should I get rid of this? Same with this, another knit just to throw on top. So these are clothes I'm gonna wear, but they're also not so special that you should show them. Jeans, I will have to keep all my jeans because I only have like three pair. This skirt is something I will never say goodbye to. It's fluffy and nice and oh my gosh, when did I buy this? I already have this probably in my closet for 10 or 12 years. And it's just, I love this so much. Recently I don't wear it a lot, but I also do this for formal wear, so I'm definitely keeping this one. This is a skirt <laughs> I bought for my ha um, how to style kimono with western clothing video. I bought all the clothes that I bought for this in secondhand stores. With that video I found out that I'm really digging the long skirts. I bought all the long skirts I wore in this video, like this one too. And I love especially this skirt with, where's my favorite shirt? This Hawaiian shirt, it's another Japanese brand. This is called Mango House Okinawa. It's a brand in Okinawa. I don't know if they're 100% sustainable, but they look really sustainable to me. And they say the shirts are made in Japan. And I really love this one with this skirt. Oh, you probably see me wearing this more than a lot in summer. Yes. <laughs> So let's go through summer clothes. This is home wear. This is also home. Probably you see me this kind of long dress. You probably sometimes see this in videos. It's really, really wrinkly because I only wear this at home. This is like home wear. When it's too hot in summer, um, wearing kimono for a whole day, some, the whole day sometimes is seriously impossible. So I get very often changed out um, into one of these kind of dresses and this is just where I lay on the sofa I'm kind of like oh my gosh it is so 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 hot I don't wear you even if I would love to show you a style with this I think I don't even can come up with one because I never really wore this so you're gonna go you're gonna go again one of my favorite skirts for summer oh my gosh I love this one it makes me so happy it's so nice and yellow, and I can't wait to wear this in summer again. <laughs> Trousers I bought oh, way too many years ago. I'm gonna put them into my, I can make something else out of them pile because I do have some plans for a tiny thrift flip for jeans. I'm gonna put it into that stash. Ah, I love this one. It's not that I'm into crop tops, but I somehow have a lot of sh skirts that go up until here and I just don't like the style of letting stuff hanging over it. And I also don't want to put stuff in every time I wear something. So I really like some good crop tops to have also this. And I'm covering up everything, so no worries. You won't be able to see my belly at all. <sighs> so this skirt. I love this skirt, but I bought this how many years ago? I think eight or seven years ago. And I love it so much. But right now when I wear it, I just don't feel it anymore. It's just 
not my style anymore. It's really, really, really cute, but it's just not... Uh, you're gonna go. It's gonna... This one is a tough one, but I'm gonna let go. And this is one of the shirts that I always wear in summer under um, sleeveless, th sleeveless things like this dress that I'm also not gonna let go of because you know this dress from my video um, I'm Weird I think was the title of it and I have a kimono in almost the exact same pattern so definitely not gonna go definitely gonna keep this one <laughs> just love this too much and this this shirt here is just too versatile to say goodbye to and I bought this also second hand. I'm super happy. Yes, one of my favorite dresses. I love this dress. It also has pockets and I love the sleeves. They're so cute. I love this dress. So this is gonna, so it's a keeper. Uh, another crop top. Yes. <laughs> I also love to wear this under things. So gonna keep this one. You're gonna go. Uh, no, I probably won't be able to say goodbye to this either. I just love this one so much. It's just, no, I love it too much. It's just too cute. Oh, I already saw, told myself I'm going to keep this one because I bought this with this girl together on one of the first dates I went with my husband. So it's definitely something I'm going to keep. One of my favorite dresses I would love to show you. Problem is it's always broken because these plastics here, because I already own this, I bought this when the um, Pride and Prejudice movie came out. Was that 2005? I would wear it more often, but every year I will have to prepare it. Every single year. I'm gonna prepare it this year again, so I'm gonna wear it because I love this dress. I'm gonna wear this for this video one last time and then this dress is gonna go. Oh yeah, I forgot you. I love this jacket. It's a tiny bit too short. I think it, it's meant to be that crop. Meant to be that crop. I have a quite a similar jacket to this. This one, and I'm just keeping holding on to this because I like the color of it so much. If this would be this color, that would be so perfect because this is a hundred percent polyester. So I don't wear it a lot, but I think I look really good in it because I like this color so much. I feel like I'm coming out of the dressing room. Like, I'm gonna keep this and this is what I'm gonna put back. <laughs> I just found this um, with Model Laundry. This is definitely also something I'm gonna keep because I wanna do a final count of everything. And I've decided I'm gonna let go of this one because I want to keep both and I think that's a better um, better idea it's just hard because it's polyester I should let go of this but I wore it and I really like it on me so I'm gonna keep it so we're gonna count trousers first and of course I have one on not to forget I gonna keep four trousers that I'm gonna wear throughout the year um, let's go skirts. So I have one skirt. Oh no, I'm gonna keep eight skirts? Who needs eight skirts in their whole life? I mean, seriously, who does that? So I'm definitely gonna keep all my jackets. So I have so many here. So I have one, two, gonna keep you too I'm not gonna say goodbye to you yet but there's gonna be a day eight I have a coat problem I swear it's a coat problem one two three four five six knits that is not bad I think for winter this is a good good amount of knits I'm gonna keep um, then I have only summer shirts one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh 11. Let's say 11 days trip, so that's okay for all year. One, two, three, 15. 15 shirts. 
gonna say goodbye to one. This is polyester and it's really uncomfortable. I don't wear it when I don't have to. This is like the shirt I'm gonna pull out when, oh, everything's crashing here, when I haven't washed in days. Dresses are one, two, three. And I still have dundel and kimono, so that is fine. Um, then I have only one, two, three jackets for like colder days or in the evening it's cold days and throughout the day it's hot days. And homewear, this is only my summer homewear. One, two, three dresses for summer homewear. That makes a total of... I want to put it on screen. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this kind of... What is this video actually? For me, this was a video for me that I really wanted to do in the beginning of 2022 because I was hoping that this will give me some strength throughout the year. No worries, there will no new clothes. I'm just gonna keep my old clothes and these are all the clothes I'm gonna wear when I don't wear kimono. I think it was fun to show you what I'm actually wearing when I don't wear kimono. I think you got an idea of my style. I basically don't know what my style is. Give it a name. I don't know what it is. I hope you enjoyed this. I think, um, yeah, you know me a whole lot better now. And I talk to you in my next kimono adventure. <laughs> Bye.